Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently we're looking at region 3335 from the time frame 1336 to 1658 UTC on 18 June 2023. We're focusing on angstroms 131, 171, 193, and 304, which shows us 131, the peak of the flare, the hottest point, 171, the beautiful loop formations and the coronal loops going throughout uh, the, uh, well, the sun, and 193 giving us a better view of the corona and what's happening there, and 304, a better view of the plasma itself. So in viewing this, we can see that the ICME that occurred from the M2.52 was not nearly as significant as it originally looked, and mostly due to the fact that most of that plasma is still there. We can see the motion of this plasma right here. Most of the ICME that did occur continued southwest. There is a chance of a glancing impact for Earth based upon uh, some analysis. It's about a 48 hour time frame, plus or minus six hours. So uh, from the event, and so we're looking at uh, the 20th of June, approximately around uh, 1400 hours UTC. So in seeing this, <laughs> beautiful event here. Uh, let's take a look at the actual uh, ICME on SOHO. And that will show us a little better of what all is going on. There we go. And here we are. So here we can actually see the ICME. Interplanetary uh, coronal mass ejection. And the occulting bar, which is holding the occulting disk to block out the sunlight, is kind of blocking most of the uh, view for the uh, more uh, impacting or more bright point of this ICME. But it's right there. We can see the cloud of that plasma as it expands as it goes out. And there we are. So highly likely that this is going to miss us. It's going a little more south and uh, slightly west, but uh, more so it's not nearly as much plasma either as it originally appeared, which is why I wanted to hold off on doing too much until I had enough data to be sure. And so this does have a chance of being a glancing impact. There is a coronal hole that is to the west, or the yeah, to the west of this. Oh, it's southeast, not southwest. Um, <clears throat> the on the sun the west and east is in reverse uh, because you got to imagine you know if you're standing on the sun your west would be our east standing on the earth <clears throat> all right anyways so it's heading southeast <laughs> but uh, there's a coronal hole to the southwest of this as well which would probably contribute to helping to impact less of an expansion towards the west, meaning less likely that we will be impacted by this ICME as well. So it's little things like that that help to keep in uh, right there. There's that coronal hole. A lot of solar wind particles coming out there quite fast. It's going to keep a lot of that uh, plasma from wanting to intertangle and mingle with it. But once again, let's take a look at that event and correct my um, heading here. <laughs> heading southeast, not southwest. <laughs> now, never mind making mistakes. Gives me a chance to make things right. There we go, southeast. There. <laughs> All right, excellent. So that's the summary. We had a M2.5 uh, M2 from region 3335 that had a small ICME that is heading southeast and is likely to miss Earth, but does have a slight chance of a glancing impact. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Cheers and science on.